guys, welcome to a nice messy layout. I love getting messy, as you know, and I had finished for the day and I decided that I was going to pull out this bit of cardstock that I flipped over the other day and it has, so the white that's on there is the gloss spray, the Dina Wakely um, gloss spray and I just wanted to go to town and see what I could do on this this page and I flicked the camera on and I'm really glad I did because I think it came together really well. So I'm using acrylic paint on this layout and there's a reason why I'm doing that. Acrylic paint is not water reactive. Once it dries, yes you can mix water with it, but once it dries it's permanent. So you can go over the top of acrylic paint with acrylic paint and the two colours are not going to mix together, providing the one on the bottom is dry first. So there's a stack of different things you can do. I, yes, quite often, most of my videos, I use the Distress Oxide sprays, which are water soluble, uh, water reactive, sorry. Um, I use the Distress inks, the Distress Oxides. I use all of those other products. And while they are amazing, Sometimes I like just pulling out the acrylic paint and just getting messy. So I am using, um, I'm using a few different things. So I use the Semco acrylic paint in turquoise and mint. They're the two that I've already put down. This one is the Montmartre yellow green. Um, now these are the acrylic semi matte paints from Montmartre that's what they are so they're not they're not super expensive they're totally affordable and these stencils that I'm using um, they are well these little narrow ones I bought from I think I bought them from wish about five six years ago this stencil I've had I don't even know where I got it from I've had that forever it's just mark making stencils that I love to use when I'm getting messy, art journaly feeling, this is where I love to go. Now, the other thing that people have asked, asked me to do is how do I get texture on a layout? You can see here, I'm putting down some white, white paint and I'm just dragging the edge of that stencil. It's got a jagged edge. All of these little stencils that I bought forever ago, they've got different patterns on the side of them. So you can use them to um, you can see that one there that's sitting off to the right hand side. You can see where the black is on it. You can put ink through it. You can drag it through things. You can use it on the gel plate. By the way, yes, that is my gel plate off to the side there. I am using it now as a much better way rather than using all the packaging. I still use the packaging for the packaging technique, but I've got the jelly jelly plate there. Why not use it? It's genius. I don't even know why I didn't think of doing that before now. But anyway, so as you can see, I'm coming in and I'm drying between my layers. When I get to the point, I, hang on, let's talk about this. I love this. I have put some matte black acrylic paint into a fine liner bottle and I've done it with the white as well. Now I am actually writing words, but because I'm over accentuating the upstroke and the downstroke, you can't, and I'm squishing my words all together, you can't really read the words as such. I know what they were. This particular layout is totally just 100%. It's just for, I'm just playing. And quite often I do that in my journey, in my art journals because that's just my space that's just my space I can write whatever I want and you know you can when you write like this you know what you've written you've got it out you've got it off your chest but other people coming in later can't read it now the thing is I know you're saying to yourself well why would you do that what's the point of writing something that you can't read it's just a brain dump it's just something where you can just create marks on a page that aren't necessarily going through a stencil they are slightly raised up so when you 
get to the point where you go, okay, I'm going to bring in another layer. That texture shows through. It's all about, it's all about the layers. And like I said the other day, and I'm going to quote Dina Wakely again, because I still, I need to go back and listen to the video. And it was so long ago, it's probably not even on YouTube anymore. But I remember Dina Wakely making the comment, and she was actually commenting about somebody else. And she said that you can't fake layers. And you can't. You really can't. Can you go too far? Absolutely. Do you always know when to stop? No. Simple, straight up, it is what it is. We all... Apologies. Jen was up half the night last night, so yeah, sorry. I am yawning. I don't mean to, and I'm trying not to. I obviously need a coffee. It is the afternoon, though. It's quarter to two. Doing a live shortly, so that's going to be fun. I just want to get messy and play. And yeah, so do you know where, do you always know where to stop? No. But can you fake layers? No, you can't. You The only way to get those stars popping through a little bit of the grid mark that you've gouged into another layer. The only way to do it is to do it. You can't. And the thing is, with your acrylic paint, if you're using, like I'm doing here, I've got a makeup sponge. I am putting very, very little paint on that sponge. The less paint you use, the quicker you could, this is, I, I kid you not, this was like an hour and the layout was done. And I was so glad that I recorded it because it turned out really cool. Um, sometimes we all, sometimes we all stress about, are we doing it right? Are you doing it? Well, then your mental health is going to thank you for it. That's it. Cut and dry. That's, that's the be all and end all. See, I was using the edge of those stencils. See how they've got like a wavy line and a jig jag line and a one's got like a little pointed knob on it and create your borders with it. This is one of those things that you can just come in and you can just keep going. Add a bit more, add a bit more here, add a bit more there. Now, the other thing is you have to come in and you have to, oh, you have to clean jelly plate. Okay. FYI, this took me forever to clean this plate. The I had let the paint at the very, very bottom dry too much and I couldn't lift it. And I was trying to use my cheap paints to lift it. And for the love of me, I couldn't get it off. Anyway, I finally got it clean. And whilst my layout was drying while I did that, this is my titanium white. This is the... I think I used the Creative Place. Is that what I used? Yes, I did. Creative Place White Titanium White. That is from Aldi. It's 99 cents a tube. Go get yourself some. They've got it in stock at the moment. It is the best white acrylic paint. It really is. I mean, I literally bought 10 tubes because I do so much scrapbooking and it only cost me nine bucks, 10 bucks. So, you know... At the end of the day, there are some supplies out there that are dirt cheap. You can create awesome layouts using them and you don't have to spend the earth to get them. Now, what you can see me doing here is I'm actually going over it a second coat. So the secret with using acrylic paint on a background, if you want to be able to just sit down and do it in one, one hit and not have to get up and down and come back to it all the time, um thin layers that's that's your that's your saving grace now I did come back in and I'm trying to match up the stencil to where it was before because I wanted a second coat that white didn't really pop for me so I wanted to go over it again so as I moved it around I had to sort of find where it was on this stencil because I was twisting the stencil as I was doing it because that's another thing that really helps really really helps um, for it to look organic and to make it look like it flows so 
you've just got you know move your stencils around don't just put them down exactly in the same order so yeah that's that's my my take my bit of information for you hopefully it it helps as you can see i'm struggling here i don't i didn't realize that i left all this in here <laughs> that's that's what you do sometimes so i just wanted to move the jelly jelly plate out of the way and then I'm at this point and I'm like, now this is, I'm going to be also honest with you here. This is my, this is American Crafts black textured cardstock and there is no gesso on it. So I've put all that acrylic paint on a piece of 80 pound black textured cardstock and it totally coped with it. Because there's not a lot of water and because I wasn't diluting and using a lot of water on, with the acrylics, it worked perfectly. So it didn't, didn't, it's sort of, because once you get that first layer of acrylic down, it's kind of like just sewing the page anyway. So then as you're building it and as you notice, I'm using small amounts of paint, very thin layers. Now these are some leftover pieces from... Uh, layout that I did a week or so ago say cheese one of those and I did extras and they just went into my use it up bin that just never really gets empty and there's a bit of texture on them so I thought you know what they might be really good to go behind these photos just a bit more texture why not so I attach these photos down I do have a post-it over my daughter's school badge FYI in case you think something's stuck on my photo it actually is. It's a little post-it. Um, yeah, so I go ahead and I fix all this and I ruffled it up and I folded. I'm Where I've torn it, if you tear the paper um, against the grain, you get a thinner piece. Then you can roll the edge of it and it's a, re it's a really good texture. It's not just torn, which is fantastic. So give that a crack. Why not? Now, I'm going to let you know, stick around to the very end, because I am also, and to see the rest of it, see how I do pull it all together, and I do come in with a bit of pen work. I know there's a few people that like watching the pen work, so I do leave all of that in there. So, um, yeah. Now, I am going to do my shameless plug. You know, the thumbs up, the like, the subscribe, all that stuff, it's all free Leave me a comment. That is the one thing I absolutely love the most, believe it or not. The thumbs up helps my channel get noticed and subscribing is free. That way you know when I load up another video. And, you know, the, the subscribing thing for me is it's a bit of a boost because, you know, you sort of create these layouts and you think, oh, does anyone even really like them? Does anyone really, you know, are they actually resonating with these things or not? So if you're getting value from the videos, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, all that sort of stuff. I've also got my link to buy me a coffee in the description as well. If you want to support, I've had quite a few people reaching out to me, asking how they can support my channel. And that is another way of doing it. If you want to buy me a coffee. So just click the link and follow the directions and yeah it's not a subscription or anything i'm not doing pay subscriptions i'm not doing that that's just not a direction that i want to take my community um i want if you can afford it and it's something you are willing to do and you want to do it then that's fantastic i appreciate each and every one of you even just your view helps me out so i'm going around and doing after I've done the titles, so I, I cut those out of my Cricut and I didn't offset. I really loved how these turned out, but the cranberry on top of, oh, sorry, it's crimson. Crimson on top of the black, it didn't pop as much. So I just did a quick drop shadow on the edge of it and it helps it pop a little bit more. I thought it stood out being the crimson. Look, Looking back, I probably would change the red. But because there's red in the photos, I thought, you know, I could add a bit of red and get away with it. But maybe make the title a little bit bigger, maybe? I don't know. Tell me what you would have done. Would you make the title bigger? Would you have done the title a different colour? 
I'm thinking I probably should have done it a different color and maybe a tiny bit bigger. That probably would have helped, but that's all right. So I'm just going around and I'm just tracing, not all of them, just some of these shapes and just to give them a bit more definition. That also helps you really notice the layers more if you add some pen work around some of your stenciling really helps bring it to the surface so that is oh that's right and I did my journaling across the bottom of that photo and then across the top on the other one so there you go guys that's my layout done so here's the close-up for you have a look at all those layers see how you can see the layers underneath as much as you can see the texture and the layers on top and yeah and that squiggly writing that's actually words but you can't really read them it all turned out i love it i love how it turned out so thank you so so much for watching thank you for your comments your likes your see the texture underneath the writing is coming through it's yeah it's really difficult to get all that texture to show on the camera so yeah so i love it Thanks so much for watching guys and I will be back with another video for you tomorrow. Bye for now.